A former Kentucky overseer of Jehovah's Witnesses made a surprising allegation. He says he resigned over a national written policy, a policy that elders remain silent when a child molester confesses to them. Not one word is said in this entire article about going to the authorities. We have an update on this story, beginning with a spokesman from the world headquarters of Jehovah's Witnesses who refutes these allegations. We have a very aggressive policy to handle child molestation in the congregations. And it is primarily designed to protect our children. And then it also is in compliance with the laws of the land or the state so that there is not a conflict. Local overseers strongly disagree with Bowen's allegations. Well, I'm disturbed that someone would misrepresent Jehovah's Witnesses in this way. In my 50 years as uh, one of Jehovah's Witnesses, I've not at any time ever dealt with or handled a matter like this, and to be accused of this being prevalent is ridiculous. Even Bowen's father is surprised. This is absurd. What he's saying is just absurd. It's not the not the way to go and it's not these things are not true we asked public information officer lieutenant carl kennison i i have never known uh, any jehovah's witnesses or any group that has ever attempted to cover up in fact it's typically been the opposite most uh, of the if if a person is involved in an organization they come forward and they and they really want the person to uh, to get the help they need we'll report it we have never had instructions not to do that Bowen's father hopes his son reconsiders his position. I've got to hope that my son will turn around, change his mind. I'm Dale D. Moore reporting.